Welcome to all my dear students. This is a video where I am going to tell you how you can upload your files, your answers, your whatever images, diagrams by using this Google form. This time if you are going to appear for your half yearly exam and if there would be a descriptive question paper. So I have made a sample question paper here and here I have taken some objective questions as well as some descriptive one so that you can practice both ways of answering the questions. The first one is the you have to fill the Roman number for 16. I have already taken there were four options. I have fit, fill up the option one of the option here. Now I go to the next question. Then here also I have the among the four options I have set one of the option as my answer. Now let us come to the third part of this question. So you can see this is a question and this is a somewhat a descriptive one. Suppose you need some mathematics answer to be uploaded or some science diagrams or some whatever documents if you have written already the answer in the document form and then you need to add your file here. So you can easily add your file here. By looking at this option add file you can easily add your file here. So if you need Suppose I'm going to click uh, um, because in mathematics there are some characters like square root um, is greater smaller under root symbol cube root symbol. So these are quite difficult by using this Google form to answer such questions. So you can just add your file here. You go to the add file. You can see the upload. You can even see the my drive if you have somewhere saved your uh, images your answers in your drive. So you can go to the my drive option also and go to the upload option and select file from your device. You can see the option here select file from your device. As soon as you click here select file from your device your whatever where you have uploaded the images it will open up. So I have opened as you can you can't you cannot see right now what I have opened because that screen is not sharing right now. So once you have just selected the file from your device, your device will open up which, which form you want, documents or the picture form. I have taken the picture form. So I have taken one of the image here and then open. So you, as you have done, you can see your docs file. So it has already been open here. If you need to add more files, this was some um, image form which I have in the document form so this is uploaded now add more files you go to the add more file options then again if there is some whatsapp image you can open it and then you can add your whatsapp image also so as you have done it is not yet completed you have to go to the upload option upload it as you put the upload button on your images will get uploaded here so if the teacher has to check what the images you have sent through your answer she will open it click it and then your image whatever you have uploaded here so she can check it right now I don't need to this suppose the whatsapp image what you have given it was some answers written handwritten answers and then I have took the image of my handwritten options answers I have whatsapp it and through whatsapp I have attached my file here so this was the here. Suppose you have done uh, by mistake you have it was not the image which you required. You can delete it as well. Same way if I'm going to take uh, suppose you need to again add file here. Same way upload select file from your device. Suppose right now you don't have such uh, files which you have already uploaded. So you close it. You can go to your WhatsApp. I'm going to open my WhatsApp here. I have some pictures I have clicked here. This is the quadrilateral. This is the image form. You can even draw it in the piece of paper and you can take the picture and you can download this. And as soon as you download, your image will be downloaded. And you open this. Once you open it, it will take some time. It's opened. 
Now what you can do? You can save it. Save as. It will come the options here. WhatsApp image. Let me write another thing. Uh, rhombus. Name it because I have several times I have uploaded these files. So I have changed the name here. Rhombus. So I don't need now this. Close this. Come to your form. Okay. Now suppose I am not, I'm not going giving the answer related to this question. I am just telling you how you can upload your files. Again, go to the upload. Select file from your devices. See, you can see the WhatsApp image. Open it. And then upload. As soon as you upload, your WhatsApp image is uploaded here. A teacher can click here and she can see what the answer, either the diagram, either the image, whatever she can give. She can even give you the comment here. She will write it here. Very good. Or needs to improve. She can post a comment and then she can resolve it also. Or she can write it, whatever. So this is a part for the teacher. She can give the comment. So you don't need this. So this was the image how you can. You can draw your diagram. You can WhatsApp it. Whatever. These are the several ways you can do. This is a descriptive one. You need to describe your answer here. Suppose it is a science one or some theoretical question. You can just type your answer here. And then finally what you can do. You can at the end there is an option submit. You can submit your answer. Sometimes. Teacher set up the word limit, maximum character count. So beyond that, your answer will not be accepted. Google form will remind you and it will ask you, you match, answers does not match. And then you have to write according to the character specified here. So this is how you can upload your answers. So this was the easy method. Let me tell you the one more time. The last question I have left here somewhere. Uh, where I have to upload the image. Yeah. Same way. Add file. Upload option. Select file from your devices. Your file will open up. Suppose I have written this matching. And then finally, don't forget to upload your answer. Once you have uploaded, it is shown here. And then by clicking on this image, you can check your answer. Is it the correct one? Or the teacher can see what the answer you have given. So this is how you can give your answers. Thank you to all.